Hello, this is Paris de Bona of the Fortune Teller Shop in Sydney, and I'm going to demonstrate a three card reading using the Lyrical Playing Card Deck. Now, this is a deck that I made based on playing cards, but I actually put words on it so people can remember the meanings rather than having to memorize all the meanings. Okay? Now, the way we use this is the question is from a male client. Now, he is an, uh, a Taurus, he's born in the sign of Taurus, and he asked me the other day if he was going to get a job uh, before August 2015, and we're in February 2015 now. So what you do is you shuffle the cards, and you think of your client, or you get your client to shuffle whichever way you do it, and then you stop when you feel ready. Now, the first card, that when you flip over the deck, the first card is kind of like called the filter, or the feeling card. Now, the first card he's got is spades, nine of spades, and if we can look at the words, it says misfortune, and that's what he's had so far. He has experienced a lot of misfortune. He's lost a job, he hasn't been able to get another job. Now, what we do is we look for him, because he's a Taurian, we go to the earth sign, which is the diamond, and we look for the diamond king. There's the diamond king there. Okay, and what we do is we take a card on either side of him. Okay, so we just keep those those ones, okay? Now, on one side, he has a balanced decision, a repayment of money, a legal decision in your favor. So that looks pretty good. Looks like he's making decisions and choices about money. He is in the middle, and on the other side of him, he has the Queen of Diamonds, a fair flirtatious woman who likes admiration and socializing. Now this is a married man and when he came for the reading he actually did come along with his wife. So she was you know supporting him and trying to motivate him which wasn't working very much but she was with him so that indicates a pair. Now because they're both diamonds this would indicate that they're married to me as well. Okay. Now if we look at above him it does show misfortune sits on his head. Okay, so what we do now is that's the simple card reading. But what we want to do is obviously we want to know more. So what we can see here is in the card it has number 20, and this has 26. So what I would do is we count 20 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Turn it over, and we pull that card out. And it says here, a rise in position. So it looks like he is going to get something good. It may not be absolutely what he wants because the six of diamonds isn't a big, fantastic card. It's a good card, but not the best. Now let's look at, we put the deck back underneath. Let's look at his wife and what, let's see what she can help, if she can help him in any way. So she's number 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Jack of Clubs. It's interesting because this couple did have a son. So that could be the wife and the son. But it actually says on the card an official, uh, a soldier or an official in uniform. So possibly they could also be getting guidance from someone who um, knows about work or getting him work. Now, the Jack of Clubs has seven on it, so let's see what who this person is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Queen of Hearts. Now, the Queen of Hearts would indicate that this person needs people to help him. A lot of the court cards are coming out now, which is indicating that the wife may have to get help or assistance or advice from other people does look like there is opportunity and it does look like a rise in position and it does indicate he's had a lot of misfortune already. Now obviously I could keep going on any cards, okay? So that's the lyrical deck and that was my phone. Now this is the fortune teller, Paris de Bono of the fortune teller shop and that's just a, a simple three card spread.